Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing good. Today we are going to learn how to deploy a Django project onto AWS. Let's get started. We have to create a new account. continue we have to give our uh, debit card details don't worry only two rupees would be deducted from your account and that would be later refunded into your account it's just to verify that you are a genuine user Now our account is verified successfully and we will go with the free plan. Okay, my role is an academic or research. You don't give anything websites and web apps. Submit. Thank you. Complete sign up. Let's sign into the console again. There are two types of user. One is root user and one is IAM user. First, we are a root user. So, enter your credentials which we have created just now. Now we are inside the AWS console. First, we will create. Uh, it's okay. First, we will create an IAM user. This IAM user is used to deploy our website onto AWS. First, we will create a user. Username would be. I just give my name. And the programmatic access. Check both of this. Next, yeah, we have to give some permissions. So we will give the administrator access, elastic bean, stop access all as well, AWS elastic bean stock full access and EC2. We are going to deploy our project using elastic beans, EC2, Amazon EC2 full access, okay. We will create group. Okay, we haven't given the, given the group name. Group and just create group. Yes, next. No need to give the tags and final check. Then create user. Download the CSV file. In case you have lost the CSV file, we can get this again from the same user panel and uh, users click on Omka and uh, then security credentials. You can click here and a new access key would be created for you and you can download that again. So let's open this credentials. Now AWS console thing is done. We will go to our project. Here I have created a sample project. I'm opening it in VS Code. I will run the project and show you what is this project. See, it's a simple Django project and I have done nothing. The first step we have to do is pip freeze requirement.txt. And 
you can see the requirements.txt file is created here. We will install AWS EBCLI. This is the command line interface. With this, we can directly connect our local project to the AWS. So first, we will create, we will install that pip install AWS, sorry, sorry, AWS EBCLI. Okay, we have installed this. We will create a directory named EB extensions. And uh, yeah, it is created. Here we will create a file and name it django.config. And these settings has to be written in the django.config file. And we will replace this EB Django with our main project name like where is the WSGI file? So we can see in AWS deploy here the WSGI.py is present. So we will give that name AWS deploy dot. This tells the AWS that where to start the project from. Now we will write the command eb init python 3.7 and the application name. I will give simply Django tutorial. Sorry, iPhone P, and it's not uh, thirty-seven. It's three point seven. We have to give the credentials which we got here. Copy, enter the access key and enter. Yeah, application is created now. Inside the application, we have to create our environment. First, run this command eb init. Sometimes we have to config the settings click y and the key value pair is already created just just press enter yes and no paraphrase just enter and enter again yeah everything is clear now now we will create the environment for that you have to write eb create and uh, any environment name i am giving any name and it takes some time so be patient yeah it has been deployed run this eb status command and this c name is the link where our current project is hosted so i am copying this and go to settings file and in the allowed hosts give this link you have to deploy it again before that let's check what is there at this link right yeah you can see this allowed host we haven't allowed this link to host our website django blocks it so we are deploying it once again it's done and click eb open yeah you can see our first website has been hosted but this is not done yet we have to configure our static files also let's see our admin panel this is not how it should look like because the static files haven't been loaded yet so for that we have to do some more things here I haven't used any external static files. Whenever you use JS files or CSS files and any media files, you have to configure the static files. For that you have to write few lines of code in django.config. These lines of code helps you in loading the static files correctly. This container commands will run every time when you deploy the project. And here you can see we have these two words are extra because this makes sure that 
whenever you deploy your changes onto AWS, the static files will be reloaded completely. If you don't write these two lines, then the updated static files won't be reflected in your web browsers because the web browser caches these data and shows this data only, not the new CSS files or JS files. After this, we have to run one command python manage.py collect static. Yes, I haven't uh, given the static root setting. Go into the settings file and and write this code. And now we will run the collect static file. Import this OS. Yeah, we are done. Now we will do the same process EB deploy. And before this, if you have your project already created with the JS and CSS files, please don't forget to write these lines of code in django.config. If you don't write this thing and uh, your static files won't be loaded, deploy your project. Yeah, it's deployed. Let's check the link again. I am reloading it. Yeah, you can see this now the static files have been loaded and it is looking good. So now we have completed deploying our project onto AWS. But if you observe clearly, you can see that new random link has been generated for our web project. But we don't want this. We want our personal domain. We want to launch our website on to www.example.com, something like that. But here it has been given some random link. So we have to redirect the traffic coming onto this link to the main domain. I will also show about that in the next video. So please stay tuned. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.